So tell us your name and your title and how long you've worked for Tri-Green Equipment. Well, my name is Richard Miller. I'm the Vice President of Sales. I was one of the owners of TriGreen, one of the people who came in. So we started TriGreen in November of 2006. So I've been with TriGreen since then. One I found out a long time ago that John Deere is not just a job, it's kind of a way of life. And so I've got a ring, my John Deere ring that I got. That a friend of mine gave it to me. He recognized in my life that John Deere was, was a passion and not just a job. So he's a jeweler friend and he made this ring for me. So that's kind of what I, I wear it every day. You know, I'm the first person in my family to uh, work for John Deere, work with John Deere, or have any John Deere. I had my grandfather was a farmer, but he really didn't have any John Deere. Um, to me, one of my first experience with John Deere was something to sell, not use. And that's when I later on became, you know, more of a fan of the company is when I realized, you know, that the, really the, the equipment <clears throat> gone back a long way. And, and even though I wasn't a farmer, I could learn to appreciate how good the equipment was. When most people think about John Deere, they think about the equipment side, you know, the iron, the steel, the green paint, the yellow paint. But John Deere to me, I found out really quick that there's a lot of people who make good equipment, but the difference in John Deere and everything else was the people who worked for Deere and the people who sold Deere and the people who supported Deere. I soon found out that, you know, that what made us different was the passion that everybody had. I had mechanics and parts guys and salespeople who had a passion for Deere that went beyond just the equipment. They love their customers. The customers love coming in. You know, we had young kids would come in and have, have birthday parties on the John Deere tractors. They, you know, it was, became a way of life. And, uh, and as soon as they knew it was, it was more than just an equipment. It was, um, the passion was in the people. So you have to have passion. It's not just, like I said, it's not just work. It's something that you think about from the time you get up to the time you go to bed, really. I look back, I've had a lot of good John Deere memories because I've been doing it a long time. But I think the most pleasant times is when you see young kids come in. They get on these tractors and, and you know that uh, this is something they thought about. You know, or you see a young family come in, you realize that, you know, the number one investment they've made as a young family is they bought a home or they bought a little piece of land somewhere. And the second thing they come looking at is how we're going to take care of it. And, to, and the trust they put in people, you know, the John Deere dealer or the John Deere equipment, the trust they put into us to help them grow their future. And then that's really important to know that. And then you look back when you start seeing kids come in that you, you sold their fathers and you sold their grandfathers. And all their memories have been nothing but good about John Deere, about the guy who sold John Deere. You become the John Deere guy. You know, you're not Richard Miller, you're not, um, you're the John Deere guy. And wherever you go, you know, and they, most of them have good memories about that because they remember they grew up on, they went on hay rides, they, they mowed the grass, they watched their grandfather or their father mow and do things with it and go hunting and use it every day. Always started, it always ran, we always took care of them. So the, the memories, that's a good thing as you look back and, and everybody has pleasant memories about owning John Deere. Again, it's a way of life for us. You know, so we become a dear family. We realize it's a seven day a week business. You go to church, you go to work, you go to school, wherever you go, they know who you are, you're the John Deere guy, you know, and so, and they expect you, there's certain expectations, the minimum expectations they have and you're in a community because most of the time, you know, uh, a John Deere dealer is, is a pillar in the community. He's a person or a person they, that the city depends on, the county depends on, or the farm community depends on to help take care of things. and and uh, support the community and the schools and things. So that's a piece of it. And then you've got um, the expectations you have of, of um, always being there for people, you know? And, you know, so you'll see that, you know, you'll, you'll get calls from families that say, hey, you know, we're broke down here or there. Can you come get us? Can you take us place? I mean, it's just, you know, it's a way of life and, and uh, not just a job. You know, it's just not a position, you know, it's, it's what you live and breathe.